All right, guys, today we're going to show you how to set a sign bar using gauge blocks. And if you have a big interest in other metalworking techniques, uh, I've got about 80 other videos. Okay, so the last time I worked with these gauge blocks, I kind of messed up my mathematics. Uh, don't shoot videos while you're tired. Uh, sort of the moral of the story. Anyway, so just to make it interesting, we're going to do uh, 35 degrees. And that means that we're going to need a gauge stack of 2 inches, 867 thousandths, and 8 tenths. Okay, so I borrowed this from uh, Mark uh, Lecure, or Lequier, I'm, I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce his name, but uh, he does a very good video, and I will link to that. Anyway, so this is called a T-calculation. So we put our size we're aiming for over here. 2.8678 and uh, I don't have wear blocks uh, in my set if you did you would start with uh, 200 thousandths worth of wear blocks but what we need to do is remove this 8 tenths first so the only block I have is uh, 0.1 or it's 100, 100 thousandths let's see if I can say this correctly well, it's 0 0.1008. So, point 0.1, get my pin to work, 0, 0.008. And we subtract that from here. So that leaves us 2 inches, 7670. Okay, the next thing we need to do is deal with this, this uh, 7 thousandths. And the only block I have that will do that is... 107 thousandths. So we subtract that from here. That leaves us point si oop, now I'm messing up again. Point six six zero zero. All right. The next one we need, uh, we need to get rid of the 60 thousandths here. And I have a block that is 160 thousandths, so that's pretty easy. So that leaves us 0 0.25000. And it gets really easy from here. So the next one we need is 0.5. And uh, after that, so that leaves us 2 inches over here. And that means we need a 2 inch block. Alright, so let me get these blocks out and I'll clean them up and I'll show you how to ring them together. All right. I almost forgot a step here. Uh, I put in all my zeros just to make for a little bit easier math. Um, to prove that I actually have the right ones to get this number, we're going to add these values up. So we have uh, the 8 tenths, there's 7 thousandths, and the 60 thousandths mark, and then here we have 5, 6, seven, eight, okay, and two inches. So 2.8678, and that matches up here. So that means this is the right answer. So I clean these up. When I put them away, I store them with uh, it's CMD Extreme Pressure Lube. I put it all over the surfaces because if this starts to rust, uh, you know, it's going to ruin the set. And, you know, I don't know that I would have the ability to restore that. So better just to not let them get rusty, right? And I suppose if you were using these every day, you may not need to do that. But I might put these things away and they may sit in this box for months, a year. I don't know how long they're going to be in there. It could be a very long time. Anyway, so what you want to do is you want to make sure they're absolutely as clean as they can be. I washed it all off with a little bit of mineral spirits. And then what you got to do, take these two, and I've heard, you know, you're not supposed to do this, or it seems like most people say to do this, but rub them across your wrists or back of your hand or something like that, just to make sure there's no dust or anything on there. Uh, there was one person posted in the last video that shouldn't do it this way. He uses paper and uh, the only issue I have with that is that paper has silica in it and uh, diatomaceous earth. 
and it's abrasive. It's very abrasive, so it's going to cause some wear on these blocks. So uh, I'm going to do it this way. At any rate, so I got these surfaces clean, and you line them up, and you make kind of a cross, and you squeeze them together as you turn them into position. Okay, so that's wrong together, and we just repeat the process all the way across. That one. Difficult to get hold of this thing to wipe it a little bit clean. And this whole process of how these things stick together like this is somewhat of a mystery, which is which I find fascinating that uh, you know they can't, with 100% certainty, explain this. Uh, part of it is probably these are so perfectly flat together. There's there's no air between those, so there's kind of a little bit of maybe like a vacuum between there when you press it together. There's also a uh, an attractive force if you get the surfaces close enough together that could be what's causing them to stick but fascinating all anyway, right so this is our stack and you do that and then you just set your sign bar up here on it or like that and then you could uh, you know if you had a stop on here you could put a part on there and you could compare with a, uh, a height gauge or excuse me, a, a surface gauge with like a dial indicator or something like that to check your angle. Uh, you could put this into a vise in your mill and uh, you, you could mill then to that angle. Um, there's many other things I'm sure you could do with this that, that just aren't coming to mind, but uh, this is a very handy tool. And, uh, you know, Tom Lipton pointed out, I guess he, when he was in his apprenticeship, he was talking to one of his mentors and he was thinking about a... Uh, getting a veneer protractor and uh, you know his mentor told him flat out don't buy one uh, they're, they're really expensive and they're very fussy to set and they're they're not as accurate as this this is I don't know exactly how um, you know perfectly close we are right onto the angle but it's it's very close it's very easy to set up you know you just ring the blocks together and put the sign bar on there and I mean as long as this is flat, that's the angle, you know what I mean? For all real practical purposes, that's it. All right, well, I hope you found that interesting. And uh, if you're interested in more of this sort of content, uh, why don't you subscribe? I try to put up stuff uh, just about every week.